Dr. Barry Borlaug from the Mayo uh, presented his INDI trial this morning, and the IN stands for inorganic nitrite. So what is the basis of this? First of all, it's HEF-PEF, so it's patients with preserved ejection fraction heart failure, which is a group that we really don't have a great drug for uh, in multiple, multiple failed trials. But there's some data that uh, these patients may need nitric oxide pathways for vasodilatation. Um, but whenever it was tested in a certain format of nitrate, uh, that trial was negative. And that was published in the New England Journal uh, by Dr. Maggie Redfield. Well, what if we gave the nitrate in a different way so that it became nitric oxide? And that's in fact what inhaled nitrite does, is it becomes nitric oxide. And so they had some preliminary data showing that the inhaled nitrite actually improved function. So what do you want to test it on? Well, you want to test it in these patients who are so limited in their activity. They have a low uh, cardiac um, um, oxygen uptake. Uh, and in fact, the oxygen uptake was low. It was about 13.914. And patients that are limited in their activity by shortness of breath. So they were very careful in picking the population. Everybody has an injection fraction of greater than 50. They did cardiopulmonary testing pretty well done with enough effort to really interpret the findings. And so they did it at baseline. Then they randomized the patients to either placebo or inhaled nitrite, did another test, and then again crossed them over, which is another powerful part of the design so now the placebo became active control, et cetera, and repeated the test. And lo and behold, there was absolutely no difference. No difference in functional capacity, no difference in ventilatory threshold, no difference in anything else that they measured. Now, it was a four-week study, so maybe it wasn't long enough. So that may be one of the limitations. Um, maybe the patients were obese, they were. The uh, BMI was 35. Uh, and maybe that's the limitation in this population is simply their weight. But I think it's just another step in unraveling HEFPEF, uh, a syndrome that we don't really know what we're treating. We don't really know what the definition is. And my personal opinion is that it's a multitude of different syndromes that we coin as HEFPEF, but it's a lot of different things and every patient may have to be treated a little bit differently. Thank <laughs> you.